What's up guys, this is Ronnie. Welcome back to our channel Total Technology Zone. This is tutorials, uh, tutorial 77. Sorry, I just said 27. So actually it is 77. Okay, so in this tutorial, I'll be going to talk about how to use Chroma DV with LangChain. So uh, this is not something new or this is not something very exciting, but still I got uh, multiple requests that uh, I should create some tutorial on how to use LangChain and Chroma DV and uh, mainly uh, in all tutorials what we did actually uh, I just uh, load the chroma DV with the text and after that I uh, like ran some uh, like query to get some output so now the question is actually suppose you are writing the code today and you are loaded you, you have loaded your uh, like chroma DV index with some data now suppose you want to actually reuse that maybe from tomorrow that time how you gonna actually use it so that is a very interesting question but uh, trust me guys uh, it's a very simple thing just one line of code is required but uh, i think just because you guys are new to this thing uh, so that is why you guys uh, might be getting some like error or maybe a uh, lot of confusions are there so don't worry i'm here to actually help you so what i'm gonna do here in this video uh, first i will be going to actually load a simple text file inside a chroma db uh, and I'll be going to show you how to create the index and how to store that index uh, inside your local drive inside your directory as a persistent storage okay and then I'll show you how to actually uh, use that persistent storage or persistent vector index from another python code and how to actually query so these are the simple things I'll be going to actually show you so basically uh, everything about chroma db will be uh, going to be covered in this tutorial okay so without wasting much time let me go ahead to the next slide so basically load text file into chroma db and how to use existing uh, chroma db index that's it that will be our tutorial and you'll get the like uh, link from here okay so now what i'll do i'll be just going to open my code and i'll be going to just uh, start writing the code okay so simple thing uh, first you have to actually from langchain OpenAI import uh, OpenAI embeddings just because I'll be going to store the embeddings I need to actually use an OpenAI embeddings okay you can use any other embeddings but I'm using OpenAI embeddings so next thing most important thing is actually from LangChain Chroma we have to import okay, Chroma right with the help of this thing I'll be going to actually create the vector index and last but not least we have to actually import from Langchain okay dot community dot document loaders import uh, it should be text loader okay done and last but not least we have to actually um, going to import from Langchain uh, dot text splitters where is text splitters okay we're going to import character text splitter okay so that's it so now what will happen uh, i'll be going to actually load the file first okay so it should be uh, it should be loader equals to text loader this text loader where is that text loader and inside that i'll be just going to pass this file okay copy path okay I'll just R okay simply I just write R and like this so basically inside that I have a file and it is actually talks about some story of Prince John okay and then what will happen I'll be just going to write documents equals to loader dot load okay like this now let's see and what I'll do I'll be just going to print documents okay 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 done now we have to split this thing so let's say I'll be just going to create text splitter this PLITT here so text splitter will be character text splitter okay and what I'll do I'll be just going to write uh, uh, I have to actually mention the um, chunk size and chunk overlap 
chunk size let's say 500 and chunk over lap is going to 0 okay and then we have to look then I'll keep create the chunks actually docs equals to a text splitter dot split documents okay and inside that I'll be just going to uh, this documents okay and after that I will just make sure I'm getting multiple documents so just going to check the lens so that is how you have to actually target your splitting or coding just because we are the beginner we should do like that so basically if you say I got nine simple chunks okay nine simple document now what will happen we'll be actually going to uh, create a chroma db instance and inside that I'll be going to actually load our vector index so how to actually do that so for that we'll be going to create vector store vs okay vs so vs so v is actually going to be chroma okay dot from documents right and now what will happen uh, documents will be this docs okay right then m embedding will be right and next thing we have to actually pass a persist directory means where so basically I have to actually create here so basically what I'll do I'll just like this dot star and I'll say db index so basically what will happen here one folder will be created with the name of db index and inside that my data will be stored okay so let's do that and see how it is going to happen okay okay so let's execute this thing okay if there is no error in few seconds you will see some folder is created see a folder is created db index and inside that this is the like uh, this is the uh, like sqlite for uh, like database where all the information are stored okay okay so that's it so now the question is actually most important question in guys saying now if I want to reuse this thing how to do it so basically for that uh, don't have to worry actually so what do you do you just command everything okay and you have to actually create again a vs okay then chroma right so basically uh, just because we already have created this thing we don't have to do anything like this and after that what have to do we have to just write persist directory so it should be star dot db underscore index okay and you have to just pass the embedding function that's it okay embedding function equals to open ai embeddings that's it okay and once this is done we have to actually uh, get some information if you want to actually get some information out from this thing so maybe i can just write info equals to vs dot similarity search and let me ask some information uh, uh, family of king john okay and i just write k equals to three i want to actually uh, make sure only three documents should be written and then what i'll do i'll just going to write print info okay so what will happen it will search against the entire vector index and it will actually look for the similarity information similar to this query and it is it is actually going to return the best match three result okay let's see okay so it is very fast you see all are coming so basically uh, that's all like this is very simple tutorial but this is the basic building block of working with chroma d uh, chroma vector database or chroma db with langchain so now you can actually understand how to use or how to reuse the existing 
database again and again no need to actually load the rag uh, every time because you see suppose you are when you are going to actually work for a bigger organization they are actually they don't refresh their uh, like database or vector index on a daily basis right so basically this is going to be a very challenging thing right so basically they might be going to do it for uh, daily once like after 12 hours something like that maybe a different way okay but for practice or for learning purpose you guys are coming up that okay i have created a <laughs> vector db but every time actually i have to run the same query and just because you guys are using open ai and every time your like uh, these tokens are actually getting used and um, you have to actually spend some money right so that is why it is better to reuse because if you every time if you want to load it every time it is going to actually use the embedding function right so that is why no need to do the loading uh, always for the practice okay so that's it i'm not saying this is a very fancy or busy very exciting tutorial but very basic thing this will actually help you to develop your intuition towards chroma db vector uh, chroma vector db chroma vector store or vector database how to work with uh, line chain and etc okay okay so with that note i'll be just going to end the video over here and before i end guys please try to subscribe to my channel hit the like button share my video with your family and friends because um, uh, the more you share and the more you subscribe i will get more and more audience and my ultimate objective is actually to reach large number of audience in that way only it will help me to actually get discovered or my videos will be uh, discoverable by large number of audience and hopefully you guys will help me to achieve my goal okay so that's it we'll see you in the next video till then take care goodbye have a nice day and happy learning